So here is our website and in order to track results we need to add this website to Google Analytics and Google Webmaster Tools. <coughs> so uh, this website is already added uh, to both services and uh, in this video I will show you how to add website. I will add this one. So it's another client's customer, one of my customer's website and I will add uh, it in Google Webmaster and Analytics. So uh, in both cases procedure is uh, for any website procedure is same. So, so what you need to do is uh, you should have uh, active Gmail account, log in to your Gmail account and uh, type in Google Webmaster Tools. So let's click on it. I'll switch account let uh, website here now I need to click on add a property and here I should type a website address so let's enter it and click on add so now uh, it uh, require to verify ownership of website so simply need to download click on this link Oops, uh, first, first of all need to download this file. So here it is. Uh, now uh, type here your address by cPanel. And we will login to your um, hosting account. All these login details for cPanel you should uh, receive from your hosting account. So let's click on login. And here we need to locate a folder where, where we should uh, upload this file for verification. So I got many websites here. Uh, I will go to add on domains and will find folder like this. But you can click, if you have only one website, you can simply click on file manager and go to public HTML uh, folder and upload there. So I will click now add on domains. Here is my website. Here it is, and here is folder. So I will click on it and it will be redirected directly uh, to all source files what are in my hosting account. So now uh, I need to upload this file. So copy folder destination file destination, click here on upload and we'll select file from my computer. So here it is. Click on open and as you can see it's uploaded. So uh, let's click on go back. So here we should uh, we can confirm by opening clicking this link. It should uh, display something like this. Here we need to click I'm not a robot verification and let's check. So yes, property added. Let's click on continue. So uh, the next step here, what we should do is we need to add sitemap. So let's go to our website. Go to dashboard. Here, uh, best way to add sitemap is to install a plugin called Yoast Cell. Simply type here Yoast, and you will find plugin like this one. Let's click on install. It will take a little time. Okay, so now let's activate. So activation is completed, and here we can see now uh, SEO tab. So let's click on it. Go to general settings. Here all looks great. Let's go to features and let's activate enable settings page. So here will be other options added. So let's click on save and as you can see now it's all activated. 
so here we can also include some information select company or person i recommend it to fill these all settings so let's click on xml sitemaps Usually I think I'm enabling here everything. Same for here. So looks great now. So we can test it by clicking on this uh, link. It will load something like this. It's our sitemap. So let's simply copy link. Go back to uh, Google Webmaster Tools. Click here. And here we should click on add test sitemap. So add, let's submit, refresh. So it's now in pending process. As well, we can go to features Google and send request to start indexing our website. So let's complete this setup. So it's uh, fetching our website. Now, as you can see, it completed, so let's send request. If you have these options, I recommend, uh, as you can see, it's uh, only 10 times you can send such request. It will be, uh, it will uh, index all your websites, so, but you can, uh, you got only 10, 10 uh, times what you, in a month what you can use. Otherwise, if you got um, a lot of pages, uh, you can send here uh, 500 requests per month. So uh, use this carefully, not uh, spend everything on uh, all your quota in one day, just split it on, on one month. So let's click on send request. Everything's completed now. Here we can also add alternative version of our website. So it's without 3W, we will add with 3W. So let's go back to dashboard, click again add property. And uh, add here your website including 3W. Let's click on add. And here uh, we already verified ownership ownership so I'll simply click confirm that I'm not a robot and verify so is everything completed uh, he, uh, the last thing what left uh, we can go to messages uh, no still not messages let's select the first version yes uh, <coughs> here it is let's click on it and as you can see uh, we have completed all settings but uh, we need to select preferred versions uh, we got two versions with free w and without free w so let's select preferred version for some reason switch the account so you can you should see a page like this i will select version without free w because i have already submitted my site maps there so let's click on save now and preferred domain name is activated so uh, let's go back to messages here we should uh, last thing what we should do is select target country if uh, your website is uh, if you have global business then you do not need to do anything here but my website focus on united kingdom so i will click on choose country And mm -hmm. yes, so uh, domain is already uh, targeted United Kingdom as you can see it's CEO.UK. So I do not need to do anything here because it's already targeted United Kingdom. But if you have bomb version. Then you will see here page where you should uh, select option 
so it simply select from drop down list what country you are targeting so this is how it works like for uh, google webmaster tools and now we need, need to add a website to google analytics procedure is uh, very similar let's go back to google analytics so let's click on first link So here we should click on analytics, it will open new window. Select right Gmail account here. I'm using this one, so I'll select this one. So here it is. Uh, click on admin. So <coughs> here we should add create new account. First. and we should paste link our include at their uh, our website link so account name website name or put every, everywhere same details you can select here uh, oh yes should remove this one like this so industry category recommend to fill all details so it's uh, finance sector select reporting time oh uh, tick marks here so let's click on get tracking ID now yes uh, let's confirm Google terms of service so here is our tracking ID. Simply copy this ID and uh, now let's go back to our WordPress website. Go to Appearance and click on Editor. We need to add this uh, tracking ID in your uh, in your team. So. Uh, the easiest way is to uh, locate here a uh, header PHP file and you should add this code after this uh, section head so simply click on enter and paste code here after that you can simply click on update file so all changes confirmed, let's visit our website to check if everything works good. As you can see everything is ok now. Uh, so tracking ID added. So Google will monitor all traffic now and we can uh, check uh, traffic using uh, webmaster tools. Simply so log into your webmaster account. And uh, when you have uh, traffic on your website, new websites will not have any traffic, but uh, after some time, you'll get traffic to like this. This is second version, so you'll see here clicks, how many pages indexed it, and on click on search analytics, you will be able, you will be able to see. Uh, what uh, keywords people use to in order to find your website and remember time to time go to crawl features google and few times a month simply click feature and render here this will help uh, to run your website google will visit your uh, website and start crawling so uh, as well you can click on crawl errors and uh, check if your website got uh, this one is bad. No fun pages should be fixed and, uh, and removed, or um, or you should put redirect if page does not exist. So this is how it works, like guys. Uh, make sure to check my other videos.